Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Audio Technica ATH G1WL. That's a heck of a mouthful, but this is a wireless gaming headset from Audio Technica. And this is an unboxing video and an overview. Now, I've been using this headset for about a week. I don't feel like that's quite enough to do a full in depth review of it yet, but I wanted to discuss what I thought of it, initial impressions, and to talk about this headset. Now, this is a 200 and something pound headset or $250 approximately so it's quite an expensive headset so I'll be able to compare it with a number of other different headsets that I've looked at at roughly the same price point and so far my feelings are incredibly mixed now I will note that before I get started that the audio for this video voiceover is being recorded with the headset on the microphone so you can see Already, that's a pretty decent thing. It's a hypercardioid directional microphone, and it does a good job of blocking out external noise and just capturing your voice, so that is one highlight. This is otherwise a precision audio headset from Japan that sports closed back dynamic ear cups, 45mm drivers, has a sensitivity level of 101 decibels and runs off 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Now it has a dongle in the box which you'll see in a minute that you need to plug in to your PC in order for it to give you the audio delights. Highlights include a virtual surround sound mode and 15 hours of battery life and as you can see the microphone. The microphone is definitely a highlight because it is fantastic. The virtual surround is oddly not DTS or Dolby Digit or anything like that. It I assume is Audio Technica's own virtual surround sound and is actually fairly decent. The sound quality on this headset is essentially quite rich and delightful. It is very nice. Uh, and the design of the headset is also striking, as you'll see. It has these cool blue accents around the outside of the ear cups. They're not RGB, although there is an LED indicator to let you know in there that it's connecting when you're pairing it. And you can see the little dongle that you plug in. It's pretty simple, quite chunky, quite large, um, but that basically gives you a line of sight connection uh, up to 12 meters and 39 feet. I found that disconnects within a couple of rooms, but otherwise it's generally useful. Now the ear cups for me are a mixed bag. They have this sort of faux leather outside that block out a lot of external noise, and then it has this mesh sort of ear cup finish to it which I've seen before on Corsair's Void headsets and I don't like them. I find them scratchy and uncomfortable. That's a disappointment. But overall the design of the headset is really quite nice as you can see. It has this sort of metal band to it. A nice headband. Nice and comfortable in that way. It's designed to be lightweight so you can wear it for long gaming sessions and I must say I actually have managed to wear it all through the day and then into the night. I did find in, when it was in the hot weather it was quite horrible. Um, but actually I have got used to it since then. I still prefer leather ear cups. I'm much more of a fiend for leather ear cups. Or if you're looking for something really comfortable like the Astro A50 wireless has these really soft sort of velour style ear cups that are just like really nice on your ears. And the Turtle Beach uh, headsets are also very good at comfort. This one's not that comfortable. A bit disappointed in that. However, it does have a detachable microphone, which is nice. And the, as I said, the microphone quality is fantastic. It has a micro USB charging cable, which is ridiculously short, and that is a definite negative for me. That cable is far too short, and I could not plug it into my PC and carry on using the headset. So if it starts to run out of battery, basically that's the end of my gaming session, which is kind of annoying and a big downer for me. Uh, you do get the warning you know, that it's coming, that it's running out of battery as an audible beep in the headset, but it's still not great. Of course, you could always purchase uh, a longer cable. It's just a standard micro USB cable that so plugs in and charges quite easily that way. So that is an option. However, when you've seen other headsets, so I've come off. My favourite at the moment is still the Steel Series Arctics Pro Wireless, and that has swappable, hot swappable batteries. So you basically never run out of charge. This is fantastic. And then other other headsets, I've seen wireless ones, you get a much longer cable, so it's not as much of a bother. Now, overall, as I said, the quality is pretty good uh, when you first look at it. It's very nice, but there are some minor frustrations with it. Now, <laughs> there are some highlights in features, but also frustrations. So if you look on the underside of the ear cup, you can see a number of different buttons, and I'll give you a close-up view of that in a minute, as well as the micro-USB charging port 
and the port for plugging in the microphone. You also have the on off power button and on the other side a on off mute for the microphone and the volume wheel. Now all of these are slightly recessed they don't stick out quite far enough for my liking so it's hard to sort of feel for them easily with your thumb or finger when you're in the middle of gaming and they're kind of not prominent enough which is a bit of annoyance uh, you can see here in close up of them one highlight though is this monitor button that you can see there by the micro USB port and that is a mic monitor button basically you press that and then you get side tone turned on so you can hear your own voice now that is useful, that is something very useful to have. Um, I've often found in the past I didn't like hearing my own voice, but it is actually very useful because these closed back dynamic earphones basically mean they cover your ear quite well and they block out a lot of external sound. So you can't hear your own voice and if you're playing a game you're finding you might end up shouting over gunfire or whatever else when you're playing in a game. So it's actually quite useful to turn that on and be able to hear your own voice and turn it off if you don't want to block out the external noise. You also note the volume wheel pushes in. You push that in to activate the virtual surround sound or turn it on and off and switch between those audios. And that is a highlight to this headset is the audio quality is fantastic. It's a really good rich sound and it's very pleasant and surprisingly good. Now I say surprisingly good, it is a very expensive headset as I said. There are questions about the design from my point of view. For example I was saying that the um, Steel Series Arctic Pro Wireless that has Bluetooth in it. This does not have Bluetooth in it, so there's no options there. You get a close up of the ear cups and the design itself. You see a nice metal headband, really nicely designed, and it looks great and it does feel good on the head. And the ear cups do twist and turn nicely to fit on your head nicely. But the lack of things like Bluetooth or a connection to be able to connect it to your phone and use it out of the house because it's such a nice looking headset that you could, in theory, use it as headphones out of the house or in other circumstances take that microphone off and use it in different ways but you can't because it's USB, micro USB and uh, use the dongle to connect as well so there's no 3.5mm jack you know there's no USB-C if they'd gone USB-C instead of micro USB maybe you could have used USB-C to USB-C on a phone and listen to music that way just question why they're charging so much money for a headset that the audio quality is good and the design's quite nice, but it lacks in features. Um, it's a bit of an odd one. The comfort is nowhere near as good as, like I said, the Astro 50 Wireless is much more comfortable as well. And you can get headsets with leather ear cups that are much nicer. That's a personal preference, of course. You might not like leather ear cups, in which case, if you prefer the sort of lightweight, breathable, this is meant to be more breathable. And it is nice in that way it is lightweight and comfort comfortable for a long time it also comes with extra ear cups replacement ear cups but they're the same i'm not quite sure why they've sent ear cups in the box that are the same as the ones that are already on there so you've got two lots of exactly the same ear pads if you i don't know so they get too dirty or something the usb charging cable is apparently two meters according to the box but it really doesn't feel that long it's very short and as you can see how close i've got my computer to my monitor and I literally couldn't couldn't plug it in. The dongle plugs in nice and easily though and it connects and pairs really easily too. Overall it's not a bad headset, I just feel like they're charging too much money for it and it's probably not worth the money they're charging. However I'm going to spend a bit more time with it and play around a bit more, see how I get on and then I will do a full and a bit more in-depth review. This has been the Provoke Prawn, hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, subscribe and come back for more in future. Be sure to check out my channel, there's plenty of other gaming headset reviews and unboxings worth having a look at. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, hope you enjoyed it, found it useful, interesting or humorous or all of the above. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also drop me a comment and let me know what you liked and if you really didn't like it, please let me know the reasons why as well, with constructive feedback that I can use to improve my future videos. Any feedback is always appreciated. And if you have the time, please consider subscribing to my channel so you get to see more awesome content from me in future. I'm always looking to grow my follower base and also to keep carrying on producing interesting content on a variety of gaming peripherals, game videos, tips, tricks, 
unboxings and all sorts of other things. Let me know what you like from my channel and if there's anything you'd like to see more of. Thanks very much for your time. Have a great life.